Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mia and it's a simple place here. We do two things, we chat shit and we make shit and this usually happens in that order and it's happening in that order today. So what we're making today is Mwah. creme de la creme i've peaked 2021 is over this is the best diy to come out of it it's like a, a faux marble vintage inspired diy ikea hat plant stand oh come here maybe little by loops okay do you know what the reason that I made this was that gorgeous little ball of fluff here. Her name is Boris. We named her after Boris Johnson because her breed gets fat and lazy. So those are my political views. <laughs> I don't think I've mentioned this here or on my blog quite yet, but my 2021 and late 2020 side hustle is that I propagate and sell rare plants. However, we also bought the most adorable little kitten and every single thing is poisonous to her. Pretty much all cool house plants are poisonous and all the rare ones, especially so, especially so, could be potentially fatal. I needed to figure out a system where I could still have everything here. I could have it in a place that it was gonna get good light where I could see them and tend to them and talk to them like they're my children, but also not put them in a place where they could potentially kill my actual child, so. That's what we're doing. It's, it's that, that's it. It's pretty. Let's get to making. Oh, one last thing. If you enjoy this, like, subscribe, drop a comment, all that good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye. So the first thing we need is the Concho clothing rack by Ikea, as you can kind of see on the page here. And once you've got that, just take everything out of the box and spray paint it gold. You don't really need to worry about the top parts that are going to be covered with resin. I honestly just went around the edges to make sure that that was all done opaquely. But the very top part, you don't really need to worry about it. The resin will be opaque and it will cover it. Okay, the next part could probably use some explaining. What we're going to be doing next is pouring resin onto the shelving panels to give them that faux marble look. We're going to be using something called the dirty pour method, which is not as exciting as it sounds, to be honest, but it does make for some beautiful results. What you need for a successful dirty pour, acrylic paints in the colours of your choice. I used a dark green and cream, plastic cups, spray paint in both gold and white, a resin kit, Oh, and this wasn't pictured, but I did also use some gold alcohol ink. And what you need to do. So, for prep, pop four cups underneath your shelf panel so they're elevated from the floor. In the video, you can see that I taped the sides of each shelf. Honestly, don't bother with this. That's really what caused the drips on my shelving unit. Letting the resin run down the sides evenly is fine and will honestly look neater. I was testing the idea. It didn't work. Don't be me. After you're all set up, mix up two plastic cups worth of resin according to your kit's specifications. Mine was an equal parts ratio. Basic resin safety tips here, guys. Wear gloves and, if possible, mix it outside and wear a mask. Resin fumes are bad for the lungs. Now, once you've got some of the good stuff mixed up, scoop a small amount of acrylic paint into each cup. One cup having green and one cup having cream. The ideal ratio for this is one part paint to ten parts resin, according to the internet anyway, but I just eyeball it. Less is definitely more here though, as too much paint will leave you with paint clumps. Now this is where the dirty pour technique comes into play. What we need to do is add contrasting colour into your resin mix, but we need to make sure that the colour stays separate. The way we achieve this is that we use a different medium that won't immediately blend in. It's kind of like adding oil to water. So spray paint and alcohol ink will fit this build perfectly. After trying this a few times, the method that I found worked best for me was actually just like spraying white and gold paint directly into my resin mix. At first, you can kind of see on camera, I was spraying into a cup and then pouring it in. Honestly, that was just a waste of time. 
So once you've got a good amount of white and gold, swirl the mix together and be careful here guys because we want to swirl the colours so that they're evenly represented throughout the mix so that when you pour it you're not going to dump all of your gold in at first but we really don't want to combine the colours. And then all you need to do is pour the mixes onto your shelving. For a natural marble like flow, I poured in a like fluid kind of wavy line across each shelf and then I went in with the opposite resin colour next to it. As you can see, as the resin levels, all of the colours spread out in a really natural but stunning way. It's very easy and intuitive. Honestly, it, it's pretty much impossible to go wrong with. So once you've got a finish that you like, just leave it to dry for 12 to 24 hours. Rinse and repeat that for your three shelving panels and once everything has cured and is dry to the touch, assemble the rest of your clothing rail. Okay guys, we're ready to do the base. So, I've actually kept this one inside just because the temperature outside isn't, it's not as toasty as it was yesterday. I don't want loads of bubbles in my resin. If you guys are worried, this is completely dry. If you've used resin before, you know it like, I'll see if I can peel some up for you. I peeled most of it off already, but it literally is like a tacky, plasticky finish so this is totally dry don't worry about it um i'm not expecting it to drip at all the only reason that i've got so much covering is because i really don't want it to um but yeah there's you know a little bit of a gap between there so even though the bottom is pretty secure it potentially could have a couple of spills which is why i've made sure to have a ton of protection on the floor Anyways, you guys already know the method, you already know all about the dirty pour, so I'm just gonna let you watch, let you watch this without chatting too much shit. It's a rarity, but the day is here. And that's the finished project. I really hope you guys enjoyed this idea. It's so easy to recreate if you are inspired to give it a try yourself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, drop a comment, all that good stuff. And yeah, that's yeah, that's it. Have a good day, guys.